team. An Aurelian Soul Myth is going to be probably the Summoner Spell heal. Players don't feel the need to take Teleport just because you have access to that E to make it between lanes. It's just one of those things where you look at certain players Not going to be able to finalize a kill. Duke just going to get the shield from the Parallel Convergence score. Not going to get caught by that one. He's going to go straight in on the Sunday, who's taking up the tower. Nicely Duke done. is just not going to get out of this so one. So clean Still from live. Katie Rolster. This is the sort of play that they oscillate between clean, decisive leaders, arrows all alone. Yep, getting silenced as he stands in that field. The bubble comes nice through. Done. And now, bang! Going to get hit up by that Ignite. Oh. Gets one more hit in. Will finish him off with Blank coming in on the back side. Will he get the cocoon? It's not going to happen. Achani takes a bit of damage. Get the one for one, but across the map, the wind goes over to KT and in the mid lane. Yep. The trading never stops between these two. A lot oh, of feeling. Faker taking a ton of damage. Oh, he's Putting still going. Forward by Fly. Faker. Can he hit the ult? Gonna respect the ult. Does land. Can Fly hit these last the few stars? Please. Throws out the Q. It's not going to connect. And now Fly oh, in a really bad spot. And Faker says, you know what? You're going to be really interesting. We'll see how this one turns out. So Wolf just. So Wolf just doesn't respect forward. the W and the Dirk damage. Just uh, 229 last order from the yeah. just kills him. Oh, Faker going in, gets the Emperor's Divide on the fly. Here comes Blank as well. That's a dead Star Dragon. He's going to fall. Blank finding. Oh, means that early game, this damage should be pretty oh, big. They're just going to open up with the Jin ultimate as they try to get on the Wolf. Here comes Someday with the TP. He's going to get locked up by the bubble, and he goes down. Johnny finds the kill. Now, Someday kiting up on the front side. Catch Blank as yeah, well. Yeah, oh wow, they do catch Blank and he has to flash over the wall. Now already blows the flash to get in Three under man the tower. Here Blank's comes here. Blank, yeah, they cannot get the lockup. Someday's gonna go back in here. Huge amounts of damage comes down oh. in and locks up Duke and he falls. Blank now on the run. They will lose Someday in the end. Or out of ages. Yep. Well, he gets the flash over the wall, but here comes the tidal wave. It's gonna pop him up, bubble as well to collapse on top of him and Score will find the kill. Range support problems right there. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. put down some vision, clear some odds on there. Uh, well, now this is a, uh, a, a bank drop. Flashes out to get away from that <laughs> curtain call, but it's not gonna matter. The bubble connects yet again from Machani, who's having a good showing on this Nami thus far. Baker gonna go straight in on the fly, gets locked up by the Q stun, has to pop the heal, try to keep himself alive. Baker goes in, gets the Emperor's Divide down. Score getting popped over into the wall. The Lambs for Spike comes down to keep himself alive. Figure looking like he wants to turn this one back around with the arrival of Blank. Do Bang. Yep. Bang though, speaking of which, gonna get rooted here, taking a ton of damage. No way for him to get out of that one alive. Like triple air and ocean or cloud or something like that. I never get the good ones. Faker, though, going in aggressive again. Someday throws out the Emperor's Divide. He's taking a ton of damage. Fly is floating his way in. Wolf as well coming up here to support his mid laner. The heal's coming through. Wish gets popped. Faker getting locked up. Looks like he's going to go down, and he does. The teleport coming in from Duke. Can they find anything? Cocoon lands on the score into the parallel convergence. Not going to connect in time. Look at the damage, Duke though. has to snap back, and now Blank getting knocked up by that bubble. Has to start backing off. How many appearances Bengi will be able to make? Duke, though. Gonna get jumped on in this top side parallel convergence. We'll lock up score. Wolf and Bang arriving from the sidelines. We're getting a lot of damage down onto the Kindred, but the Lambs Spite will come down in time to keep himself alive. Wolf Whoa. almost getting hit by that bullet, but it doesn't matter because someday finishes off the kill all the same. And it looks like Maokai will be able to walk out, so a fight. Item builds are basically be an arms oh, race. Oh wow, Hachani just gotta go down. Baker and Bang doing so much damage. Watch the gin. Straight through the mermaid. Baker gonna be trying to eat all these body Last shots for hit. Bang. He will be able to block all of the shots aside from the first one. So Bang's still low. Baker pushing out the Emperor's Divide, taking a lot of damage. Arrow goes in, trying to finish him off. He's got that Hex Trigger shield, but it doesn't oh. matter. Baker finishes him off as he flashes over the wall for the skill points, and now we can see Blank eating up this tower shots, the wave crashing in. Baker wails away with the Mountain Drake and all his ability power at the same time in bot lane. Here yep. we see the engage. Yeah, we're gonna go straight in onto Blank. Someday taking up at the front line. Mel comes through though, and Duke goes deep into the backside, gets locked up. GA pops. GA does get popped, he does not have the flash, does have the ultimate available though. Fly, looking like he's gonna be the first one to go down. Hachani falling very quickly alongside him. Score is gonna go down, Arrow popping the ultimate, but there's nobody <laughs> but tanky members right up in his face, so he cannot hit any of the priority targets. And with three members down, just Arrow and Someday up, looks like this is gonna be game for SK Telecom, taking down the first Nexus turret here at 34 minutes. Just waiting for a minion wave to come, and they're still riding the Baron buff. This would be the game ending. Only two members from KT, nothing they can do to stop the onslaught from five. 
Yep. And we're going to see Duke teleport in just to ice it all out. And he is. Turrets go down. You can see that. Nexus getting shredded, as is Arrow's HP bar, the final member of KT to fall. 13-9 to nine in the end.